In this video, I will explore how to use NPN transistor as a switch. So this is a simple LED circuit where I'm, I'm injecting 3.3 volt with the red wire to the LED all the way to the resistor and the ground cable. Now I'll replace the ground cable with a PNP transistor pin number 3, which is the emitter. Before all this, I would like you to get introduced to my very modified TIP41C transistor. It has got three pin, one, two, three. I especially mark the middle pin, which is the black, which will, which in conventional sense, you can call it as a ground. So pin number one, two, three, one is called base, two is the collector, and three is the emitter. So number three is replaced with a ground to our actual circuit. The reason I soldered the extra long leg is uh, just to make it easy for um, use in the breadboard. Also, it is easy to explain because um, it is a barrier with the short legs and they are very stiff as well. So I recommend if you experiment at the beginning, you do the same. As you can see, at the moment, I have replaced the ground. Uh, so basically the resistor is connected with the pin number three pin number three is the emitter So the negative charge is going to the emitter then it will be passed to the collector Completing the circuit, but it will not complete unless until you Inject 0.5 volt minimum 0.5 volt in pin number one Let's see what happens as I have connected the very left pin which is pin number one in parallel with the power source and it is working so basically th at the moment the same voltage 3.3 volt it is going to the LED and the same 3.3 volt is going to the base pin number one and pin number one as it is getting some voltage it is allowing the other two pin to get short so they are uh, getting connected and the voltage is going through circuit complete now the catch is you don't have to send the same amount of voltage to the pin number one. You can actually make the circuit work with providing very less voltages. So the concept is that, that you got something in higher voltage, then you, you use the switch, but in that switch, it actually get controlled by um, much more lower voltages. Uh, so it can get a uh, voltage from a uh, GPIO pin from Raspberry Pi or from Arduino or other PLC microcontroller. Now for experiment, I'm using this much more higher voltage, six volt actually, this LED just a circuit to control um, with this NPN transistor. Let's see how it works. So this is the LED just a circuit. Uh, as you can see, I clearly marked the positive coil, which is the red coil, and the negative one, the black coil. Here we got the JSA circuit connected with 6 volt power source, and the pin number 1 of the NPN transistor is connected with 1.2 volt AA rechargeable battery. Um, as you can see, so the actual circuit is working with 6.6 6, 6 volt power source and 1.2 volts. So this is the efficiency. It's called HS, HF, which is the gain factor for this um, NPN transistor. The gain factor is 15 to 75. That means that uh, 75 uh, times less voltage is required. It's possible to use with pin number one uh, to turn on the whole circuit, which is 75 times more voltage than the actual uh, power on switch. Here you can see the JSA circuit voltage is just 4.4 volt and the switch on pin, the base pin voltage is 1.2 volt. So 4.4 volt circuit is getting on with 1.2 volt switch. This is the way you can use NPN transistor as an amplifier, amplifier, a switch, and many other things. Now, NPN transistor is just for baseline use, low voltage use. So basically, if the voltage is less than 100 volt, you can use NPN transistor. If it is more than 100 volt, then you go for MOSFET, and if it is very high voltage, then you use the IGBT. Hope you like my video. I will see you at next time.